What's going on everybody? It's your boy Al King with Storm Dagger Films. Back on that again with another banger for y'all today. Y'all, I seen Deadpool and Wolverine the other night and y'all, real quick, I'm gonna keep this thing spoiler free. This is a spoiler free version. Then I'm gonna have the one we're here with spoilers dropping tomorrow. Now I know I normally don't drop on Thursdays, but hey, it's it's needed for a two part right now. Like I got to, I got to. But y'all, so first thing I'm gonna say first, after seeing this movie, I think I I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This film, legitly in my opinion, surpassed Endgame. Endgame was great, although I think Infinity War was a far better done film by a long shot. Endgame was also great too, but this film definitely surpassed Endgame, and I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Low key, it fell and it hit like a like a some Avengers movies, like no cap. I was just like, wow, like I I walked into this film, guys. With not the highest expectations. I knew it was going to be decent. I knew it was going to be some cool moments. A lot of jokes. Which is another thing I got to get into as well. But I was not expecting it to be that good in terms of story. In terms of story, y'all. This is the best I have seen in an extremely long time from Marvel Studios. And, hey, they need to follow this type of formula. Story-wise, they killed it. Round of applause. I can tell that Kevin Feige and the, the whole like the whole team, whoever the heck they was behind this film, I can tell they let Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman do their thing in this film because they did and they did not disappoint. Y'all, I promise. They they ain't disappoint in this film. You will not walk out of this film disappointed in my personal opinion. As a long term Marvel fan, I I was like, wow, like le legitly, I gotta go back and rewatch a lot of Marvel movies. Forget Marvel Studios, like older Spider-Man movies. I got rewatch a lot of Marvel stuff because that's how good this film was. And I got to make sure I got my brain on point because I know it's been a long time since I've seen something hella good from Marvel Studios. So I got to make sure my brain is really on point. So I got to go back and rewatch a lot of Marvel stuff. Not just Marvel Studios, Sony, Marvel, everybody. I gotta go back and we watch some stuff. Make sure. Okay, hold on. Is it really that good? Do I, I, like like legit? I gotta watch this film a few times and a few other Marvel films a few more times as well. Because as of right now, I ain't gonna lie. I put this like up here in my top. This film alone might be easily in all Marvel films ever made. Might easily be in my top five. I ain't even gonna lie. Maybe even top three in terms of best Marvel films of all time. Like. I would just flabbergasted how good and well done it was just created. Like guys, I was in shock. It's not expecting that. So quality, everything, round of applause. Now let's move on to the next thing. Guys, I ain't gonna lie. This was probably the most bloodiest and goriest Deadpool movie ever. Like I know a lot of people was walking into this film and, and they thought they was gonna get a more PG-13 type of feeling. No, no, not by a long shot at all. Like, no, this film earned their R rating to the absolute core. Like, like the kills and like, I ain't gonna lie. It was some scenes that were pretty damn gruesome and really messed up too. I was just like, ugh, like, like I don't do pretty well with blood and gore, but I'm a fan of Deadpool, so I'm gonna go watch. But in general, I don't like heavy gore and lots of blood, but hey, this film definitely delivered on that. So, hey. <laughs> Uh, the fight scenes, the gunplay was just incredible. Um, you're going to see a lot of that throughout the film. But, I mean, wow, like, and that opening scene, when you watch that opening scene, you, you, you're going to be like, ooh, Lord have mercy. Incredible. Like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, blood, gore, it got that by a long shot. But moving on to the next thing. I got to talk about the surprises. Y'all, this film had so many surprises in this film. I was just like, wow. Like, I was not expecting. There was characters, superheroes I was not expecting to pull up 
rumors I always wonder about that I that I might uh, can't talk today that I myself had done videos on in the past and talked about wondering about these rumors like I'm not gonna say if they were right or wrong but I, I'm just gonna say this if you're a fan hey you're gonna be heavily heavily happy and just satisfied uh, yeah satisfied from all this that you're gonna see in this film so fan justice will be hit heavily in this film i promise you in my personal opinion and then moving on to probably the last thing then i'll wrap this thing on up i ain't gonna take it too long you know because this is a spoiler free version but the jokes the jokes were like i guys i gotta take a step back after i watched this movie i was like you know they really took some really deep digging into these jokes like the stuff they come up with like did they just sat down with a florida man west virginia type of man like crackheads like like who did y'all sit down with to come up with these jokes like i ain't gonna lie they hit but lord have mercy it was vulgar as as i don't know what heck of vulgar i'll tell you that much it was, I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty funny, but I was like, ah, oh, come on now. Like, I just wasn't expecting, like, the way they deliver it, too, it's just like, damn, man. But, yeah, so be aware of that, but the jokes, they did hit, it, like, you will laugh a lot throughout this film. Uh, definitely, I'll probably say, yeah, yeah, this is definitely the funniest Deadpool movie, um, hands down, easily, like, and also going back real real quick to the blood and gore like i was saying this is the bloodiest glorious deadpool <laughs> ever made like like legit i really do mean that like compared to the first one yeah it beats the first one in terms of the blood and gore um and then also well i will say in terms of like the adult aspects like don't get me wrong like it, it's the new one is still the one we just got deadpool and wolverine still very vulgar and everything like it's it's very very adult content hands down but the first one still like i would say number one in that aspect for certain scenes like if you've seen the first one you know what i'm talking about deadpool 2 wasn't really all that gory or really crazy bloody it was a few scenes but this one yeah they ain't they ain't hold back with this one they they went ham with this one but and then finally before i wrap this on up Oh wait, hold on. I forgot. I I'm gonna spoil some. I gotta say that for tomorrow video. So <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. It's your boy Al King with Storm and Dagger Films. Like and subscribe, share. If you haven't seen Deadpool and Wolverine, check it out. This thing made history. I think this film will definitely surpass a billion dollars extremely quickly. And whatever formula that they got going, a hey, Marvel Studios continue it round of applause like this was great they did incredible they did their thing everybody everybody shine they did fantastic but that's all i gotta say y'all like and subscribe share i'll be catching y'all next video